All right, so hello and welcome to another Android Studio tutorial where in this video I'll be showing you how to create this simple splash screen and it's essentially, for those of you who don't know what a splash screen is, it's a kind of a pop-up icon in the beginning of an app and it's uh, very easy to make. Uh, I was just playing around with Android Studio and I decided let's make a tutorial about it. But the first thing you want to do is create a new activity. So we'll go to activity and we'll create a new empty activity. I'm just going to name it to splash screen activity. And with that being said, we can now go to our activity XML. And before we do that, we're actually going to go straight down to our drawable file and we're going to create an icon or you can import an image, whatever you desire. I just decided to use a vector asset. And uh, let's just keep this simple. Let's click on the images and I'm going to go for an audio track uh, piano note or music symbol, whatever you'd like to call it. And uh, let's see how it looks in red. Now, I don't really like it, so we're going to go black. And that is the original color, so I think it's a lot better. So we'll just use that for now. And once you're done doing that, we're going to go straight to our XML file again and uh, change it to a relative layout. And here we're going to actually insert an image view. And in this image view, we're going to write 200 dp, 200 dp, so it gives it a bit of size. And we're going to put the source to our recently created icon, and we're going to center it in the parents. Then we're going to give it an ID of image view underscore note, just to keep it simple. And finally, after that, we can go to our value file, and we're going to go to styles. We're going to copy and paste our app theme style, and we're going to remove the action bar. So it actually looks like a beautiful empty screen with a note when you open it. And that's all. Then we're going to go to our manifest file and we're going to go straight to our splash screen activity and we're going to add the theme which is going to be our new splash screen theme and we're going to copy and paste intent filter and delete it from main activity. This essentially just declares that this will be the first screen to pop up when you open the app. And with that being said, that's all you need in the manifest. It's just going to make sure you use that theme and pop up as the first thing. Next, we're going to go to our main or splash screen activity file and we're going to do IV underscore note and we're going to set the alpha to zero so it's empty when you start it just to give it a nice animation. Then we're going to write it again, image view note and we're going to animate it, set a duration to 1500 but you can put your own value and we're going to set the value to alpha one with an end action. And this end action is going to create an intent which is going to open our main activity and that's essentially how you create the splash screen. So we'll start the activity, which is going to be I, and it's important you write this to give it a nice animation. It's override pending transition, and we're going to put Android R dot anim fade in, and the same thing for a fade out. And then we're going to write finish, so if you try to go back, when you go to your main activity, it won't go back to the note or the splash screen. It will just stay on the main activity, and that's it. And that's essentially all there is to creating a splash screen. I hope this tutorial helped. If uh, you want any other tutorials in the near future, please comment, and I'll see you in the next video.